build off of this pro red zone concept to go ahead and make your red zone offense unstoppable. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification icon so you never miss an upload. All right, so guys, I want to go ahead and jump into uh, four verticals is one of the base plays out of the single back bunch ace or single back bunch. It doesn't matter whether it's base, bunch, just uh, regular bunch. Uh, four verticals is a play that you should have access to pretty much in every single book. It's a very common play. And we're going to take a look at four verticals and use a, a, a pro tip or concept to, that you can use to go ahead and get more touchdowns in the red zone. And then what you could do is you could set your opponent up uh, by showing them the, the same play again and beat them on the backhand side with another concept that I've, I've just broken down on my channel. So basically how this concept works uh, is all you're going to do is you're going to take your outside receiver and actually put him, uh, put him out and you're going to go ahead and pass lead and high ball uh, off to the right hand side. Uh, you'll do that by going ahead and holding your left trigger button, uh, I'm sorry, the, the left bumper button and then just going ahead and taking your pass lead and putting it off to off to about the, the, the uh, 2 o'clock spot, 1.30 spot, somewhere on that. And when you get when you get the animation, you're going to have a wide receiver that's going to come up and catch a ball. Now, obviously, the better the wide receiver, the more likely you're going to catch the ball. Now, what's the problem with this? Is that if you show your opponent this play too much, uh, they're going to start getting smart. They're going to start putting players over uh, in that area. They might put an extra defender in that area. Uh, so it might throw your timing off a little bit, or just put you in a situation where you're going, uh, where he's going to really stack that area. So what's cool about this particular pass play is that. Uh, you can force your opponent to defend it, but now when they really start overcompensating, you can use a different kind of passing concept on the backhand side to, uh, to uh, go ahead and force him where he can never it never attack you basically the same way. So what I like to do is I, I like to go ahead and take Fournette and put him on a wheel route, and if my wide receiver Cole on the backhand side is... Um, uh, you probably want to actually have them on uh, a, a, a nice tight route. So this might not work for all the bunch formations because you're going to have to need uh, 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 basically Cole to be already uh, aligned inside. Uh, because what happens is now you're actually going to be able to go and attack them in that spot uh, uh, with the little hitch route. So let's see if we can get the animation. Once again, we're going to go ahead and take Makrif. We're going to put him over here to the left. And as you can see right here, he's going to be wide open for a nice little completion of the back inside. So drop the ball right there. Uh, very common uh, with these wide receivers with Jacksonville because they're not very good and the ball sometimes can spray by the, by the quarterback. But now you're going to force your opponent. This is a really good concept to use uh, in mutts or, or draft champions when you, when you have better receivers. You're going to have force your opponent to attack two to, or defend two different areas of the field and he's going to have a hell of a time doing it. So let's go ahead and take a look at an instant replay on how this happens. Now if you show your opponent this look and get a completion I uh, uh, what's gonna happen is he's gonna go and see the same look again he's gonna like oh my lord I gotta stop that so he's probably gonna try to put put a guy to defender over there move another defender and maybe try to put a user in that area now what's what's cool about this gonna play is that if you have a guy that's actually in the slot position or close to the line uh, to to your offensive line when you have a running back route that actually does a little uh, it does a little circle route uh, or a wheel route of the back end side, those guys actually come down and play the circle. So you can see these three defenders are looking at the running back, and I'm already getting rid of the ball, and I've got separation where I can get a nice little high ball pass lead on the back end side. No way he's going to be able to use her a, a, a wide receiver over here and a wide receiver over here. He's not going to be able to do that. So that's that's how things are going to really open up for you. And then also on top of it, you've got this guy is going to going right down the seam. So if he actually overcommits defenders, that seam route is going to be wide open. And then you got a, a nice little crossing route right there. And depending on whether it's actually, actually kind of... Uh, uh, there's just no way you can cover all these different areas. So one of the great things about verticals is that you can use this as a red zone play, preferably, preferably about five yards or so out uh, to get yourself an easy completion because you just can't be in every area of the field. So guys, so I recommend getting to lab, going to check it out. The key to this particular play is just making sure you got the ball um, 
uh, on, on the right side of the hash because if he's a little bit too far over to the left, that running back route is not going to be able to wheel. He'll, he won't wheel this way. He'll get a wheel the other side. So to my subscribers, thanks for your support, guys. If you like these type of tips, make sure you hit the like button. And once again, thank you for your support. And until next time.